Welcome back. Our next guest was born and raised in D.C., attending public schools Merch, Deal, and Wilson High School. Now he's making headlines worldwide for turning the big top into a billion-dollar business. Ken Feld is the innovator who took the greatest show on earth and made it even better. And on top of that, added many other big shows to the family business. I got a chance to sit down with the CEO of Feld Entertainment just before the circus rolls into the hometown on March 20th. I started by asking him about how he started in the circus business. In uh, the early 1900s, the Ringling Brothers bought Barnum and Bailey Circus and became ultimately Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey combined shows. Fast forward, my father acquired it in 1967. I was a student at Boston University and he calls me one day and he says, we're going to Rome meet me there and we're going to buy the circus this weekend. You didn't go to Harvard Business School, you didn't go to business school no. at all. Uh, looking back now, CEO, do you feel like you missed out by not getting an MBA to run the company or do you feel like you made the right choice going straight to work? I think my graduate school was learning from my dad and he was a great teacher and what we would do, we would, and we were always traveling because all of our businesses were traveling, so I'd go with him and he would, early on he would say, don't say anything and don't be surprised by what comes out of my mouth. And so I would sit there and then that evening we'd go to dinner and it would be a two and a half hour dinner and he would smoke some cigars then and you know the cognac and everything and he would rehash the whole day. And he would say, what would you have done in this situation? And then he says, here's why I did this. So that was my graduate school. It was over a lot of great dinners listening to my dad. You have been seen as the real uh, success story in terms of the growth of the company. Bob Johnson uh, said to Forbes magazine, he's the president of the Outdoor Amusement Business Association, his quote, just like Disney is the gold standard in the theme park industry, Feld is the gold standard in the circus industry. Now obviously any company and any family name would want to be compared to the Disney standard. What makes Feld the gold standard? You know, when I go to the circus, I know what the circus is because I was involved with it, putting it together. So I watch the circus with one eye, but I watch the audience and the response and what, what engages them. And that's how we're constantly changing the business. And I think one of the things that I love is change, and a lot of people don't embrace it. I live for change. I get a little bored with things as they were. So we're always tinkering, we're always fixing things, we're always going for what's the next great thing and how can we make this better. You're in 70 different countries, you've had 30 million in ticket sales uh, now annually. Uh, I'm told, and you may or may not want to confirm this, you're now bringing in a billion dollars in revenue in your last year and you've got several different companies under Feld Entertainment. What did you take to Disney that convinced them to trust you and trust their brand with your brand? Well, initially I don't think it started that way. Actually, we were on a year-to-year -year contract, so it was a huge risk because we have all this capital invested in the show, and then if they decided they didn't like it, it's gone. So what happened in October of, I think it was October, November of 1984, Everything changed at Disney because Michael Eisner came in. So I went out to meet him, and I'm still on a year-to-year -year contract. And the first thing he says to me is, I don't know why we're in the ice show business. I don't like ice shows. Uh-oh. And panic sets in, and I'm trying to figure what, what do I say to that. So I said, have you ever seen one? And he said, no. I said, okay, I want you to come with me when we play Los Angeles. Sit with me. Bring whomever you want. Tell me what you like, what changes you want us to make, and then give me a year to fix that. And after that year, if you like it, I need a five-year contract. At the end of the show, he says, you know, it was a lot better than what I thought. And so then we we'll sat- We'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> we sat and we talked and about things to better engage uh, the audience and ideas for the show. And he was right. And so, you know, with that, we upped the ante and we produced a better show for the following year. He came, he said, I love it, and this is a business that we can really grow. So we now, today, have nine touring companies of Disney on Ice. You say you like to constantly change things and shake things up and you're known as an innovator, but Nuclear Cowboys, explain that to me. Nuclear Cowboys is, if you've ever seen the X Games, so we have probably 
the 10 or 12 top freestyle motocross riders from the X Games. And we decided, instead of just watching them jump and it's a competition, let's put together a theatrical experience. So we have these riders that typically are competing against each other, now riding with each other. We then have uh, Shaolin martial artists. That's the circus aspect we bought, brought in from China. So we mix them up. So we put all this together with heavy metal music, we have dancers, and we created what is really like a live video game. It's now in its fifth year and it's become hugely popular. Thomas Heath is one of my favorite uh, profilers and he wrote a profile of you for the Washington Post and he said that there are some rules of the road for Ken Feld. You personally check out at least 200 shows a year. You've got rules for performers. They've got to interact with fans. The first act has to grab you at the start. Lighting is crucial, but most importantly, at the end of every show, of any Feld Entertainment show, viewers have to feel like they stepped off a roller coaster. If you're at a show and it's a two hour show, and if you leave and you can remember four to seven moments, you ha I know you had the greatest time of your life. I work hard because I want that, uh, and we have high expectations. Our consumer, has higher expectations. So we have to transmit those feelings throughout the company. So I think now what it is, there's a culture of excellence and that permeates throughout the entire company. Nicole Feld and Alana Feld are proud to present Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey. Welcome to the greatest show. And Nicole, who is the oldest, she's responsible for producing Ringling Brothers Barnum & Bailey with her sister Alana. Uh, she's also responsible for producing Disney on Ice. Uh, Alana, who is the middle daughter, uh, in addition to the circus, she is responsible for our Disney Live business. And Juliet uh, works on motorsports, a lot of, and she is also producing Marvel Universe Live, which is the most complicated project. We have been working on it for over a year. We open in July. We're actually in Washington, D.C. at the Verizon Center on the 4th of September, and I think it's the 18th of September, we're at the Patriot Center. But this will be a live experience like none other. On the business side, what is it that you, besides innovation, what do you hope that you've passed on to your daughters in terms of business sense? Well, I, th I think the one thing with the business, if, if it were to stop with me, then I've totally failed. So the idea in everything that we do, we look at the long term. Everything we have are franchises. I mean, why has Disney trusted Feld Entertainment for 34 years with their most prized characters, the essence of what they are? It's because we treat them like they're our characters and the stories. And we do that with everything. Ringling Brothers Barnum & Bailey, 143 years old. It's the oldest continuous entertainment in this country. The only thing that keeps me up at night is the next show. It's not what we have, but did we do a good enough job now that next year we're going to get everybody to come back plus new customers? And that's the key to the success. We thank Washington's success story, Ken Feld, for his insight on innovation and much more. We'll be right back.